The United Nations Security Council and the Transitional Government of National Unity agreed to work in a fresh spirit of cooperation to advance the interests of South Sudanese people, particularly their aspiration for justice, liberty, and for prosperity. They agreed that the humanitarian and security needs of the people were paramount. To improve the security situation, the transitional government of national unity gave its consent to the deployment as part of UNAMIS of the regional protection force recently authorized by the United Nations Security Council Resolution 2304. Further, the United Nations Security Council agreed that the troops contributing countries, UNAMIS and the transitional government of national unity will continue to work through the modalities of deployment, building upon the consultations of August 25th and September 1st, respectively, and anticipating any further discussions that will follow. The Transitional Government of National Unity signals its readiness to implement Chapter 5 of the agreement on the resolution of the conflict in the Republic of South Sudan, including to work with the Afghan Union in setting up the hybrid court for South Sudan as soon as the African Union provides proposals for its work as provided for in that agreement. The statement, the statement is being answered. No, by the person who had the statement. How quickly? We on the UN Security Council have the utmost confidence in UNMIS's impartiality, its independence. It is true that uh, members from a particular ethnic group may gather at a protection of civilian sites because site uh, because they are afraid and they're from that area. That has happened, that's, that's no secret. Uh, but UNMIS has an impartial mandate to protect civilians no matter who they are, no matter where they are. The number one obstacle to them fulfilling that mandate up to this point has been the severe restrictions on their movement, the requirement for written permission before they move from point A to point B. And we are very encouraged uh, that President Keir was very clear in the meeting uh, that that's not his intention, that he has asked uh, that UNMIS be granted free movement, uh, that humanitarian actors be able to provide relief to those in need, no matter where they are, no matter where they come from. So what we need to do now is move from these really important high-level commitments into working out the modalities in an operational way. Uh, and again, the UN Security Council was very clear on what, what is needed and what is sought. And the government was very receptive uh, to sitting down, and we just need to do that in a very urgent way uh, because, of course, uh, as everyone knows, uh, the population is vulnerable in, in different parts of this country. Of uh, supporting the rebels through loading the truck with 